Oh my gosh, so you guys, I'm so bored today, so I decided to do a tag, and the tag I'm doing today is the black girl tag. Oh, uh, my best friend, Fanta, already did a black girl tag on her channel, CEO of Fanta. But I don't know. I think her questions are different from the ones I found. She didn't write the questions on her description bar. So I had to go searching for some questions. And let's just jump right into it and I'll use her questions. So question number one is black gel or jam? So... I didn't start using any type of gel at all until like prom season in fifth grade and they use the black gel on my hair. I prefer black gel because it holds better and it matches my hair texture so there's no white stuff popping out. And um, jam, I did try it before and it's really oily and greasy for whatever reason. I don't know who told them oil holds hair but not black hair it does not and it did not my hair still felt the same texture i guess it's for like when you're doing um wash and goes but i don't like it at all so i prefer black gel um second question does your name have a isha in it no my name is my name is very simple to say I have a Hebrew name and it's Kayla. <laughs> so no one does not have an Isha. Not even my middle name has an Isha. So yeah. Um, number three, do you roll your neck and or your eyes? Not really. Do I? I have to ask my friends. I don't remember. I don't know. I have to ask my friends that question. Um, Number four, how often do you get an attitude? Oh, I think like almost every day, probably like twice a week. No, only when I have to go outside. When I'm outside, living in New York City, there is something that will piss you off. You don't even have to be a black girl for it to piss you off. But what pisses me off in general is when people walk really slow, step on you and do not apologize, bump into you and do not apologize, talk over your head that's like short people problems but as a black girl i have an attitude when people like stare really hard now actually if i came in with a head wrap like this my head tied like this they would be staring like jeez all right next question uh do you like taylor swift <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I, I like a few of her songs, but I wouldn't like put her poster in my room and I wouldn't go to a concert, but I appreciate her music. Um, have you ever dated a white guy? No, I never dated a white guy. And yeah, I never dated a white guy. I'm not opposed to it, but I guess like white guys are scared of like either black girls or... I haven't seen like a white guy that I like like I like the Justin Timberlakes like dudes like that they're just chill they're not trying too hard they're comfortable around any race they're not like trying to relate by using slang which is very uncomfortable like I know I'm black but that don't mean like you gotta try to relate to me like don't do that but yeah question seven is do you wear weave and if so how often uh all right so i i don't know what people consider of course i know what weave is but i get like the braids like extensions i used to do clip-ins so i don't like them anymore and i wear wigs when i when i'm in gyaru so i guess but I only get my hair, I only have extensions, like, if it's a where I'm part where I'm really busy, like, I have, like, a lot of days that I'm working or school, I braid that bad boy up. Because I always take morning classes just to get the day over with. 
So I guess once every season, yeah. Um, are you light skin or dark skin? Chocolatey dark skin. Uh, nine. Are you loud or quiet? I'm quiet in the beginning and then when I'm comfortable around you or I like you or you're really cool peoples, I'm talkative. I don't think I'm loud. No, I'm not loud. I'm talkative. Yeah, if I like you. But so I guess I'm quiet. Um, 10. Do you prefer the beads or rope twisters? What does that mean? Do you prefer the beads or rope twisters? I have to watch back the video for that. Um, uh, 11. Just for me or share moisture? This question is really hard because just for me was my staple when I was in elementary, middle school. And I couldn't afford share moisture till college. Like, when, yeah, I didn't start buying that till college. Just for me, I only use the grease, oh, but right now, I guess right now, I would have to say Shea Moisture. Um, next question. What is the most annoying question you get asked? Is that your real hair? Like, oh my gosh, like that question is so annoying. Is that your real hair? Like... It's like, I don't even know why it would matter if it's my real hair or not. Like, you gave me a compliment. This is how it starts. They come up to you and you're like, oh my gosh, like your hair looks so pretty. I really like your hair. I'm like, thank you. And like, is or no, matter of fact, they first come up to you and say, is that your real hair? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And I'm like, if I didn't say it was my real hair, would it not be pretty anymore? Like. That's, oh, that grinds my gears. But yeah, that's the most annoying question. Um, next question. Are you ratchet? No. I'm not ratchet. Like, I don't confuse, like, being silly and ratchet. There's huge differences. I feel like ratchet is just, like, I don't even know. Like, I'm just not ratchet. Like, I don't know. Question 14. Has your weave ever fallen out? Has it? No. No. I feel like I had a moment where like something happened, but it wasn't like, oh my god, like pick up your hair or whatever. Um question fifteen. Do you pat your head or do you do the it the assist scratch? I just scratch my head because when you pat your head you get a headache obviously so if there's a spot that itch I'm gonna scratch it or I get a comb shove it up in there and scratch all around like and when I have like my head wrapped like this and my head itches yo that is like the most annoying thing because I can't really get to the spot scratching through this without unraveling my head wrap it's really bad but that's not just get a comb and just like jerk it in there. But um, next question: Who is your favorite black couple? Of course, Will and Jada. I say I know a lot of people probably said Beyonce, Jay Z. I love Will and Jada because they're so organic. They're natural. Like they don't put up a front for no one. They're not, they don't want to look no certain way for no one. They live for them. They, and I'm glad, I like that their kids are so aware and they let them be themselves. And I just love that neither of them changed who they are to accommodate their relationship, which is really dope. And they both have their own, what you call it? their own popularity like people love will because of fresh prince and he's an amazing actor everyone loves jada because she's that real small she's that small chick that's real and she's super cool like 
I love them. Like, that's my favorite couple. Black couple. Oh my god, I forgot Obama and Michelle. Oh, this is hard. Now, I would say them because I could more relate to them. 17. What black woman do you look up to? Oh, this is hard. Because I have, like, a list. Like, they're each... Alright. I'm going to do it like this. I look up to a lot of So, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do it like family members. So, Maya Angelou would be my spiritual grandmother. Erica Badu would be my spiritual mother. Janelle Monet would be my spiritual sister. Uh, Jill Scott would be my spiritual auntie. Um... Alicia Keys will be my spiritual auntie. And who else do I look up to? FKA Twigs will be my spiritual best friend. Those are the black women that I love and appreciate so much because they're so real. They're themselves. They, ins they actually inspired me to be more comfortable with my blackness and be proud that I did not alter or bend who I am to fit society at all. They're like the rebels. Like, I love them. They're dope. I love them. And last question is, what I love about being a black woman is that no matter how much people down us, degrade us in any way we still show out like it's other races that are like pinching things from our culture that we had and it's our culture because we had to create and come up with these styles so we could make other races feel comfortable we couldn't walk around with fros or to keep our hair like really neat we did the braids whenever we wanted we couldn't have our hair down so we kept that bad boy up in a beautiful shiny fro people used to make fun of our lips and everything now everybody wants these lips and we just come out the womb puckering like so i and i love like our skin like we glow in the sun we don't even need low you just glow like you see us. You cannot. We cannot be ignored. We're strong. And we're beautiful. And we don't wait for someone to love us. We love ourselves. Because that's how dope we know we are. If you don't love us, you know you're crazy. Because we are amazing people. And as a, to be a black that's the most greatest gift I think like God gave to me like if he came down and said all right you're gonna live in another life what race you gonna be I will come back in the same skin I'm in like Miss Maya Angelou said herself my spiritual grandmother I would not choose another skin to live this life in because seeing this color on me seeing that I'm a woman it may it tells you you're strong you're a strong person no matter if you don't think that you are a strong black woman power <laughs> so that's it for the black girl tag and those questions were really cool they were fun i had a lot of fun doing that so now i'm about to look for something else to do since i'm extremely bored i'm not outside because it's super hot and I don't want to spend transportation money because I'm trying to save to pay for my costume to play mass in Labor Day parade. So I guess I'm just gonna clean my room. Yeah. So deuces, you guys.